points in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Looking to pass to him. They're going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Now we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play grasp on to until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Looking to throw. Jones looking middle and that's complete. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Back to throw, Jones. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. To try again after the sack. Jones. He's going to look downfield for Henry. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Tyquan Thornton with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Patriots get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Fulk connects on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
from the six. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this is really the start to the season that you're hoping for if you're a coach or a player. They've got the big lead here in the fourth quarter and now can really take some time off the clock. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for Miami. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. He's going to go up top again. Touchdown, Patriots. Tyquan Thornton making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Patriots get a bit closer. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is down to 24. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance if they want to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to stop us. Their call to finish this one off. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Once again, it's Mostert, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. And some room to run now. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Sanders now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Javon Holland. It's a pick six on the Dolphins touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. It's certainly a signal caller, Charles. It's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping to hold a nice little spot in the post-game highlights to show this one of the interceptions and great plays this game has made. They've been on it from snap one. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20- or 30-point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Jones now on first down. And now here is another interception. Picked off Byron Jones. And they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. 
And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. They hand it off to Mostert. And some room to maneuver. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one 28 yards on the ground. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Miami, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be on the road next week as they travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers.